Ja. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. We're out here this morning exploring the King Ranch area, fishing the western side of the upper Laguna Madre. We've got an outgoing tide. We're going to be out here exploring, looking for birds working, looking for slicks, anything busting. Just kind of working some shoreline, working some grass flats. It's a beautiful morning. We've had a warming trend here in South Texas in the upper 50s, so should be a nice day. Wind's not too bad. Blowing about 8, gusting to 18. I think that's going to increase throughout the day, but overall not too bad. Let's see what we can get into. starting with this morning is the down south in a purple with a silver flake it's got a chartreuse tail and we got that rigged on a quarter ounce jig head something busting right over here busting on top of the water there he is he dumped it It's a beautiful trout. Fishing a grass flat out here along the King Ranch shoreline. And we're just twitching this down south lure and letting it flutter down to the bottom of this grass flat. That's when we're picking them up. It's a little grassy, but I might throw on a twitch bait. Oh yeah, there's stuff busting all over out here. There's a solid fish. Choked it. Choked it. Bad one. Oh man, as soon as it hit the water, they're stacked up right over here. Feels like a small one. Let me back up. Oh, maybe not. Sometimes they just don't know their hooks right away. They are choking this down south lure. Oh. Little guy. Oh man. Little trout. 
man, there's some big ones over there rolling. Let's get back in there. There's some big trout over here with their backs coming out of the water. There he was. There, oh man. There he is, there he is. I don't want these boats to see me because then they'll come over here. We're just gonna lay low for a minute. You guys know how those boaters are, man. They have no problem pulling right up on you. So we're gonna lay low. We went ahead and swapped GoPro batteries and popped our hoodie off. It's getting a little warm out here, believe it or not. Even in the winter time. Of course that wind's picking up a little bit now. I might should have left it on. Oh, oh. Another one. Even though we've had a bit of a warming trend, we're still in winter patterns and these fish are hanging down deeper waters in these drops on these muddy grass flats. That's where we're finding them. There we go. Is that another little guy? Yeah. Another small one. Fun to catch, but awfully small. Mmm, mm, okay. Yeah, yeah. Deep drop, man. Boy, that was a good thump. Jumped in the boat. Easy, easy, easy. That is a solid trout right there, and he hit it right by the kayak. <clears throat> Pretty trout. It's interesting, if you get too close to where it's shallow, you won't find trout. If you get too deep, you won't find trout. They're right on these ledges. About 150 to 300 yards off the bank, depending on how the land contours out. There's some good drop-offs, and on those drops at the bottom, there's some good grass flats. And it seems like that's where we're finding them. I'm not keeping any fish today. We're just out here having a good time. Getting a tight line, trying to find some good trout. Had I been, though, we'd have had a nice bag of trout by now. We've caught some pretty good ones. Real quick, as we're doing some editing, I've had a couple people hit me up in the comments and they wanted to know some more details on the lures I'm throwing. So, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I was switching back and forth between two different rods throughout the day. And I was throwing both down south. One was in the color Big Papa Pearl, and the other was in Kickin' Chicken. They're both very similar. They have dark backs with silver bellies and chartreuse tails. Hold them a little closer and show you the details. That's the Big Papa Pearl. It's kind of a brown with blue flake, silver belly. 
and the kicking chickens of purple with a silver flake both have chartreuse tails i couldn't notice a difference in effectiveness in either one they were both very effective as long as i was throwing dark tops silvery bottom that chartreuse tail they seemed to love it i did try other lures while i was out there not as effective so and then i had that rigged up on a quarter ounce jig head the uh, norton lures it's got kind of a bullet style jig head so it cuts through those grass flats a lot more effective than say like a ball style jig head it also has a 60 degree line tie as opposed to 90 degree which just helps it cut through that grass a little bit better but uh i'll go over the rod and reel setups as we head back out on the water there's a ton of little 15 to 17 inch trout in here there's got to be some big boys in here Oh man, as soon as I said that, I got nailed. Of course, he doesn't qualify. Doesn't quite qualify. Let go. That's a keeper trout. Not a huge one, but a keeper. This kind of fishing is just so relaxing, man. There's no obstacles out here. Boom. You just kind of drift. You got the whole area to just drift and mess around. They're busting bait all over right here in front of me. Oh no, that boat's coming over here. Oh my gosh, that's a big trout. This is a nice one here. He absolutely thumped it too. We got him. Look at that beautiful girl. Nice trout. days like this you just don't want to leave oh my gosh right on the edge of those drops man nice cool overcast days the fish are just biting non-stop these are kind of days Golly. okay that's a good trout Hooked pretty good. We got her. We got her, baby. Beautiful trout right there. Beautiful. There she goes. Nice healthy release. Oh, I just seen a trout roll right here, right in that grass pocket. I'm about to roll it right over him.
another nice one. Oh my gosh. We should have kept some trout today. And we got him good. Pop off there. Another nice one. Something blowing up right there on that little sand pocket. There he is. As soon as it hit the water, that trout picked it up. That's a solid one. That's another solid one. Oh man, he choked that lure. I'm gonna have to retie my leader. Another solid fish, man. bait jumping out there oh my gosh he came up and hammered it I don't know how many limits of trout I've caught so far. There's some big ones blowing up right here on this flat. I really am enjoying catching these trout. Some decent sized ones, 16, 18. I think we've even caught a couple 20s. And these are good conditions, but I think we can find better conditions. We got a nice sandy bottom with a good drop off and there's a little bit of grass down there. And these trout are hanging around, but I really want to find some bigger trout. So we're gonna push until we can find some bigger grass patches and some softer bottom with the water temperatures being a little colder in winter patterns a lot of these bigger trout are going to be hanging around on the muddy bottom so we're going to keep pressing further down and see if we can't find some mud bottom i know there's bigger trout out here Gosh, that's a good trout. I don't want to tear his mouth. Another big one. Might be the biggest one of the day. And I don't think he's hooked good because he came up and got it right by the kayak. Yeah, it's a nice trout. I don't want a horsey. Very nice trout. Oh, he's barely hooked. Oh, we got her. We got her, baby. What a trout. 
absolutely beautiful trout. Nice big belly on her. Uh, she probably weighs over six pounds. 27 inch trout. Not real fat yet, but pretty healthy. Give her another month and she'll be huge. Oh, I love catching trout this time of year, man. So much fun. We're gonna get a good release on her. It's been an awesome day. There she goes. And that, my friends, is exactly why we fish Laguna Madre. Fishing out here is world class. Doesn't get any better. I knew we'd pick up a big girl eventually with the number of 16 to 20 inch trout we were catching. It was only a matter of time and we get it. We got some nice overcast conditions. We're literally gonna be leaving fish biting, but I do have to get off the water, so we're gonna start making our way back in. It's been an amazing morning. Hopefully you guys are keeping the feeders and releasing the breeders. All those bigger trout help our numbers out. Not only that, but they're great memories for other people to catch, for their children to catch. It's awesome to come out and catch one of those big trout. We are gonna take it back in. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.